What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Moment Views here with another episode reaction to The Rising of the Shield here. This is going to be episode 17, A Promise Made. I... Last episode we had a lot of things happening. I think we're going to be getting a little bit more of the whole introduction on... Well, last episode ended with the full of little queen. What was her name? Oh, hold on. Is, is it going to say it? Uh, uh, Fitoria. That's right. Fitoria. Uh, Fitoria was basically saying, yeah, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> um, basically. And my prediction was whether or not she was using it as an excuse to make the heroes band together to fight a common enemy. Or she really did it. I, I, I'm, of course. Or she actually is legitimately plan on doing that my uh prediction is leaning towards the other end uh the first one um because i don't th like i i have a feeling like the shield here a, a shield hero had raised her from before and i think he might have been in the same predicament that now fumi is in so maybe this is like a form of tough love Again, that's, this is my prediction. We're going to see what happens. So, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode. So, without further ado, let's jump in to episode 17 of The Resident of the Shield Zero, starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Look at all those chickens. They're all just like, give me food. Weird showing up with that. Oh shit, wait. Again, I still feel like she is um really playing the role. I feel like like she yeah, she's playing the role because I don't think she's trying to actually kill the shield hero. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised and slightly confused, but surprised. More surprised because I I have a feeling like my prediction is the right prediction. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm still wondering about what that scene is. No, no, no. Oh, isn't that the scene? Um, yeah, that's a scene in episode four, right? That's when um the shield hero, pff, shield hero, spear hero, and uh, now when we fight. Also, the bow and um, sword hero are snooping around and the three church, three house church, something like that. The, this is still a really good show, but it's still, it's definitely not my, even close to my favorite this year. I still have a feeling the hero that raised her is a sh a form of the shield hero, whether or not it's a, it's one we've been talking about, like the one that basically messed with Melrose Mark. I don't know. Uh, 
Wait, wait, you didn't you didn't pick piece that together? Don't mind me, just putting lotion on my hands. Probably shouldn't say that when there's a little 800 year old lolly in front of me. <laughs> so she can actually. Hmm. She changed her, uh, for a while. She changed her uh, priorities slightly. I think she's just gonna get, like, I think Philo's just gonna get her ass kicked. Uh. Oh. Uh, okay. I have no idea how this is going to plan uh, pan out. A barrier. As long as you don't ex have to explain that it's a barrier. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> that's, every time I see someone teleport behind someone, that's the first thing that's going to come to my mind. I think she still wants to test Philo. I wonder if this is also going to force Philo to to like improve. Complete anti. I mean, if you think about it, they're the same race. Yeah, they're the same race, so naturally, she would. It would seem like she would know the exact counter to the to the move. She actually was able to shoot through the barrier. Told you, she's still playing. Playing with her. Because he thinks that... Oh, shit. You're gonna... She's been pretty plenty useful. I 
I, yeah, I still feel like what Philodial is doing is purposely pushing her into a corner, and this is a form of tough love. I know I've said this multiple times now, but I feel like I need to drive the point home. Because Philo's also acting, um... Because Philo's also acting... She's fine with her emotions on her head. Just imagine how it, 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 she thankfully she had those gloves though if you think about it she also sapped her mana though. She's gonna faint. Poop. But she's still gonna hold true to that promise of yeah, I'll, I'll keep the uh, shield, the hero's life for now, for now. I actually wish that they translated um, with Philo because Philo talks in third person, but the official translation does not say have it as such. Did they know about this the entire time? <laughs> Is that the queen? So is she the queen now? Don't, I, I, don't give her the title right away. Let her grow a little more. <laughs> it's just gonna come right back. <laughs> Interesting. You already have a couple. It's a good ability. Oh shit.
Nice. Kind of feels like it. I... I don't know. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I kind of wanted her to do... I kind of wanted her to pull the hole. I'm going to go... I kind of want her to pull the whole situation. I think it would have actually kind of made sense. She wanted to ride her. Hey, I'd like I'd like to ride on a big ass chicken. You get me? It does look a little bit strange, I'm not going to lie. I guess because I'm just so used to it. I, I am hoping that Felodial doesn't just step down and she immediately becomes a queen because it, it just comes, feels kind of feels very rushed if that's the case. Did she just get kidnapped? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking out for me in the background. I mean, k kinda? It was more like they didn't even want to talk to him. Or listen to him. Just got a point. But I mean, he technically denied the charges, but... Yeah. Hmm. So she, they actually might get an ally if they can prove that they can work together. Ooh. Interesting. But if you choose people, the world. Oh, they better not cho like choose. He might. He better not have to choose between the world and Raftalia.
because he's a shield hero. <laughs> I like that response if you say so. It's like he wants to be the bad guy, though, if you think about it. <laughs> no, there's only one best girl. Sorry. <laughs> it totally was. It totally was. I don't know how to rate this episode, in all honesty, like... I think last episode was better. I feel like um, Felodial is going to be sidelined as a character pretty hard. And think about it, we only have... Is this 24 episodes? Or 25? I think it's 25. We only have 8 more episodes. And that's the, uh... Head scratcher. Because I don't know... I still I don't know how this is going to turn out. How this is going to end. Because like I said, I believe that Glass was another hero, the fan hero. Or a fan hero. She had two of them, so. Uh, and there was a guy with a scythe. So I'm guessing that was a scythe hero. And that was about it in terms of the opening. So we haven't got them. I hope they're not going to pull a re-zero where they introduce um, a character in the very beginning. Um, uh, shoot, who's the girl? The girl with the knife. Um, in the in the very first like cup like five six episodes. Um, and then they just sideline her and then don't even talk about her again. Especially Glass, because Glass seems like a really interesting character. And I I, I assume we're, I mean we still have eight episodes. So ooh. Extra scene. That's rare. And Melty's watching him. Multi, sorry. Oh shit. Oh shit. Now that's how you end the episode. I think they just wiped out the party. Because if you think about it, they're they are a sideline. They don't even I don't even know their names. I think they just wiped out their parties. Cause of course the shield and they won't kill a character. They're not gonna kill a hero off, are they? There's no way. They're not going to kill a natural hero off. 
they did say that if you were to ever fight without one, the battles will grow exponentially hard. Oh, shit. What if that's the case? Okay, well, th- that ending actually kind of made up for the rest of this episode feeling completely slow. Because if you think about it, this episode was basically entire. the entirety of this episode was clarification, which I thought was pretty damn obvious in the last episode for Nafumi. Um, it was also Philodial basically ch- um, basically determining if Philo was a worthy successor, and she proved she was, and a little bit of development for Philodial, who I still feel, who I feel like is going to be sidelined. Um, at least in, for this season. I, I don't see her playing a bigger role more than anything, more than maybe like some cameos or like maybe later on, like near the end. Who knows? But this last part adds a bunch of like theory crafting, and that's what I love to do. I love theory crafting, especially when it ends on something that it can significantly change the outcome of the story of how it was originally going. So, ooh, that ending actually changed a lot of things my prediction is one of them is going to be severely wounded I feel like it's probably going to be the bow hero because he was the one to acknowledge the trap in the first place and that that is a stereotypical thing where the person who sees a trap is the one who usually gets hurt the most so he's going to be out of the fight and that also backs up uh, Philodial's um uh, saying of if you fight a man down, it's going to be ridiculously hard. And so that's going to prove, that's going to back up her point. And most of, most of, if not all, of that party is probably dead. But I'm trying to figure out who laid the trap. I, I still can't see Multi do that. Plus it looked like, like it had an electric feel to it. It wasn't fire, which Multi is known to be. So, we'll see what happens. I'm actually really curious on to seeing what the next episode brings. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. That was a really good episode. Because of the ending. Just let you know. It wasn't it was just an very it was a mediocre episode, but the ending made it very enjoyable because I it makes me qu- think about things but yeah anyways guys i'm gonna go wrap this up i'm probably gonna go take a nap and then uh, by the time i wake up i'm probably gonna maybe stream for a little bit we'll see what happens but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time see ya